welcome to natural skincare school in this uh, project I'm going to show you how to make a simple DIY lotion at home this is not a professional grade this is J tools beginner formulator so if you are just starting out formulating this is going to really help you okay to break forth into the world exciting journey of formula skincare formulation so this one is a DIY uh, lotion that you can make at home by yourself so the first thing I'm going to do now is to sterilize anything you want to use. So you need heat sensitive, um, any container that can take heat. So I'm using Beaker. I have a link in the description box below for where to get all the simple stuff I use today. I'm using Borosilicus uh, Beaker. These are very good for heat. They can take heat very well. Then also I spray with rubbing alcohol to remove all the germs and I also have my uh, gloves home to prevent any contamination of my product so when you're making lotion make sure you keep away any contaminants by using rubbing alcohol okay to rub everything you want to use so I'll be using these two beakers so you're going to need two beakers you're going to put your wax I will be using emulsifying wax which I have here don't worry about where to get this. I have a link in the description box below for everything I use today. So I'll be using emulsifying wax and also I will be using coconut. So I'll be using making coconut oil using emulsifying wax. Very simple wax to make lotion or cream. Now, so after sterilizing this, you set them apart. You're going to need a pot of this type and put water, your water in it, okay? You're going to put this on the stove but for the purpose of this i will not be using this but i'll show you how to use it um i will be using a water bath a water bath is more convenient more easy to use and more easy to work with this is what i'll be using instead of the regular pot so if you want a water bath very convenient to use uh, look in the description box below so before now let's get started I have the formula, link to the formula is in the description box below, okay? Link to the exact formula I used to make this. Um, not really formula, I have the exact weight. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, you need xanthan gum. Weigh your xanthan gum, I'm using xanthan gum at 0 0.5 gram. So weigh your xanthan gum, okay? You cannot use plastic for this remember we're putting in on the stove so you cannot use plastic for this so weigh your xanthan gum number one step so i've weighed at uh, 0 0.5 gram of xanthan gum then you add glycerin to it to dissolve the particle of the xanthan gum this is how you do this if you want to make your own lotion at home so add glycerin to it to dissolve the particle of uh, so I'm using 5 gram of uh, glycerin the scale I use is very simple you really need this when you're making your lotion at home so I have a link in the description box below for where to get this scale so when you add your glycerin to xanthan gum then you mix it with a rod you can use anything you can even use spoon but if you want to use the same rod i use which is very comfortable very convenient look in the description box below so you mix it very well this is your first step you add xanthan gum 0 0.5 gram i'm making 100 gram of this so but the exact formula i use is available in the description box below so you mix it very well once you are done the next thing you want to do is put it back on your scale okay if you are using this aqua weight i'm using this is exactly what you do you turn it on press tear to clear any weight on it then the next thing you want to do is to add your water so we mix xanthan gum with uh, glycerin then we we'll add water to it make sure you follow this instruction very well this is going to help you make a beautiful 
lotion so we're going to add water if you like the squeeze bottle i use for convenience i have a link in the description box below also very very good squeeze bottle uh, i'm using distilled water keep in mind i don't want to use tap water because it will contaminate my lotion so use distilled water which you can get at any of your grocery store so add water to the blend i'm using 77.5 gram of water so i'm going to add water to this I'm doing this video because of requests that I uh, received from from some students of natural skincare school and some of my uh, followers here on YouTube they need help on how to make basic lotion and I think this is a good starting point so you had water I use 77.5 gram of water if you want more as you keep making uh, lotion you will be increasing the amount so just double the amount to the amount you want okay of each ingredient so i just added 77.5 gram of distilled water to the mixture then i mix it very well with a, a, a stirring rod a glass stirring rod once you're done you're going to you're going to get a gel consistency that's what you want so don't worry about any other thing just uh the next thing you want to do is to cut a foil paper and cover it. That is the water face, okay? To make lotion properly at home, you use water face and the oil face. So in your water face, remember I added distilled water to Zantango. Well, I mean, I added glycerin to Zantango. Make sure you review the video, then I added distilled water to it. Then I'm going to take another beaker, which I'm going to use to put my emulsifier. To make lotion, you add emulsifier and oil together. You add xanthan gum, glycerin, and water. And then another beaker. Then you add uh, oil and emulsifier in another beaker. You melt them, then you add them together. So just watch me. Now, my oil the oil i'm going to be using today is coconut oil so i'm going to use 10 gram of coconut oil ten gram that's what i waited there uh that is inside here ten gram of coconut oil then I will have my emulsifying wax okay I'm going to use my emulsifying wax just I'm going to use five gram and while I'm doing this I have my oh, I use too much but don't worry just use five gram in your own case this may be a bit thicker but that's okay so I use five gram of emulsifying wax and that's all you have to do that's it so you cover it with a foil cover bowl with a foil if you are using if you have your pot on just put them in your pot okay and set them on the stove make sure the heat is not too much okay make sure the heat is not too much you want to measure if you have a, a thermometer of this type okay you want to make sure the temperature of the water make sure it's not um, more than 80 degree okay okay make sure it's not more than 80 degree because you want to melt this you want to melt the oil but you don't want to boil it that's why you need to check the temperature of your water but if you're using a water bath like i'll be using today so you set this on the stove and melt both so wait until the oil melt okay now because I will not be using this, I will be using my my water bath. I'm going to set both on my water bath. The good thing about water bath is going to water bath is going to melt this for you better. Okay, water bath will do a good job of melting. So we're going to wait on the boat melt. Then we're going to continue 
okay even if you put it on the stove you use regular pots on the stove you're going to wait for both to melt before you continue now we're going to check to see if our oil has melted and it has melted really well so it's time to carry out the next step keep in mind when you are using stove just make sure the heat is not too much like i said so you bring out the water and the oil face the melted water i mean the warm heated water and the oil so you had the oil into the water and you mix well now you need your hand blender to complete the rest okay hand blender or immersion blender of, of this style will help and you just blend okay so once you see this uh, whitish uh, thick uh, liquid you know an emotion has formed then you stop blending okay once you see this that's all you want and when it's thick the consistency is thick that's all you want just blend until it's thick not too much okay you don't want to pump too much hair into your lotion so and that's what we want we're going to stop at this phase and we're going to just use our our stirring rod or any stirrer that you have to mix it okay at this phase at this stage all you need is just mix until it cools down okay before you had any other ingredient you want to include in your lotion So this is the same step that you use to make all your lotion it's just as you advance in lotion making you'll be able to include more ingredients but because this is just a basic diy i don't want to bombard you with too many steps too many rules um yes we keep it very simple for everyone to understand So what you need now is just continue blending. Now, the only thing that you have to keep in mind is that before you had any other, before you had your preservative, if you're going to be using this, okay, right away, or maybe you're going to use it within a week, you don't need any preservative. But if you're going to keep it out of the fridge, you want to use it longer than a week, you uh, uh, recommend that you get a preservative. A broad spectrum preservative will protect your lotion from yeast more than bacteria so I have a link in the description box below from where to get a, a preservative to use for your lotion so right now you want to continue mixing it until it cools down comfortably now how do you know it has cooled down to a stage where you can add uh, the preservative and if you want to have a you want it to have a lovely scent you can add an essential oil for this one i'm going to be using lavender essential oil and uh, i'm going to be using a, a broad spectrum preservative i'm using geocardi city it may not be readily available on air but i'll give you a link to another broad spectrum preservative you can use so don't hurt all this because these are heat sensitive ingredients they're going to really uh, the heat in this lotion hot lotion is going to destroy their property so you don't want to hurt them right away you want your lotion to cool down to a comfortable you know face before you had that now if you do not if you have a thermometer at home you can check it if you mainly i use infrared thermometer but if you don't have any of these at home if um 
if you don't have an infrared thermometer at home i always say after you are done mixing it just give it good five minutes just count five minutes from that time by that time it will have been very comfortable for you but for the purpose of this video i'm going to use my infrared thermometer to so right now we are 39 degrees celsius so you want to add any other heat sensitive ingredient when it reaches 40 degrees celsius so i want to check again just to make sure as you can see it's still 44 degrees so you have to bring it in properly to add, make it make sure it has close contact with that lotion for you to so if you want to get an infrared time which is very rare now because of the current covid situation um we can get it up i was i will check and put a link below for where you can get it so you continue mixing okay this is coconut oil lotion <coughs> a lotion is different from a cream because it's lighter right uh, in another video i'm still i'm going to do a cream but this is a lotion a diy lotion So as you can see the consistency is coming together okay now at this phase you cannot hard your you can add your preservative and you can add your make sure your preservative is what you had last so i'm going to add lavender essential oil um the lavender essential oil i'll be using is a one percent now this is going to make a body lotion okay it's better used as a body lotion because of the percentage of the lavender essential oil i use okay so It may not be suitable for the for use for the on the face so add your essential which i just added now and mix it want to add is her your preservative i'm using geocard ect at uh, one gram okay i use essential oil at one gram then i'm using geocard ect at one gram this is very essential especially if you but if you do not have a preservative at home make sure i use it too much <laughs> make sure you you keep this in the fridge okay make sure you keep this in the fridge is very essential you want to pro, you know pro protect yourself from And in the, the the cooler your lotion becomes, the thicker it is, okay? So keep that in mind. As your lotion cools, it becomes thick the time. And that's it, that's it for our D high white lotion. And this the consistency you want in a lotion. A lotion should not be as thick as a cream. As you can see, this is what you want. I'm going to zoom in so that you have a better look at it. And that's your lotion. So just uh, you can give it some time to cool down before you pour. Or you can pour it right away into your uh, preferred lotion you know, bottle. 
okay and that's about it for this video if you have any question about making uh DIY lotion feel free to drop in the comment box below and this is a good place to start for those that are just uh, beginning to make lotion um, at natural skincare school i teach you how to advance to another stage of formulation you know we introduce different ingredients to your lotion so if you are still not comfortable with lotion making or making other skincare ingredient um, product uh, this is a good place to begin start with this channel and uh, as you go on you can join me at natural skincare school to develop more you know advanced uh, skincare product but this i hope this has helped you have if you have any question about making lotion feel free to drop in the in the comment box uh, below i'm readily available as you all know on this channel to show you uh, tips and ideas on how to make your own lotion okay and um, this is the consistency of the lotion and on the skin the consistent with lotion on your skin this, it looks beautiful isn't it it's very hydrating also and not too you know not too thick so thank you so much for watching if you want to learn more about making simple simple homemade uh, product this is a channel for you want to learn more about the skin in general about taking care of your own personal skin this is the channel for you so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos like i said before you want to take your formulation level to another uh knowledge to another level head over to naturalskincareschool.com to learn how to make more advanced uh, skincare products thank you so much for watching